I will now show you uh, an experimental verification of uh, a short circuit applied on a synchronous machine. In fact, uh, we will be doing the short circuit on a medium sized machine. Of course, uh, uh, this is still a small synchronous machine as compared to the machines which are used in power systems which can go up to hundreds of megawatts. Uh, remember of course, the parameters of a small synchronous machine can be significantly different from uh, a large synchronous machine. Very notably, all the lossy elements that is resistance of windings, uh, the friction of bearings etcetera tend to be higher in smaller machines. Nonetheless, uh, we still can uh, show you some interesting features uh, uh, or rather show to you that the short circuited current of a open circuited synchronous machine uh, does have the signatures uh, which we have discussed in the simulation in theory we have done uh, some time ago. So, in this uh, particular uh, experiment you have a DC prime mover which I am pointing out at connected to a synchronous uh, machine. The synchronous machine will be run up to uh, roughly the rated speed of the machine uh, by the prime mover and uh, we will excite the machine uh, not of course, to its full voltage we will give a low voltage short circuit. So, that the currents uh, are uh, safe uh, for uh, you know for, for the purpose of this lab demonstration. So, I will start this demonstration now remember that of course, we will be we will uh, the machine has already been uh, started uh, and it is running and uh, it has also been excited to give a very low voltage uh, not uh, around 5 to 10 volts at the about sorry about uh, about 20 volts line to line RMS at the terminals of the machine. So, we will apply a dead short circuit under these conditions. Okay. So, uh, let us observe the current waveforms for the phase A, B and C under these circumstances. So, we will start our video now. So, this is the DC machine prime mover that is the synchronous machine and of course, this synchronous machine has a self excited DC generator as its excitation. It is not a static excitation system, it is a rotating excitation system. So, uh, we use a DC self excited DC generator for self excitation. The machine is already on running and the voltage is uh, not a very high voltage just around 20 volts line to line which appears across the three phases uh, three fa output of the three windings of the synchronous machine. This is an MCB uh, which is connecting all the three phases. We will be uh, connecting all the three phases together to create a short three phase short okay. and these are the current probes uh, which are going to the oscilloscope uh, at which we will observe the short circuit currents. So, now uh, I will actually perform the short circuit by actually connecting all the three phases together. Uh, so, the MCB will have to be switched on to the on position and we will simultaneously view the short circuit. So, it will be any time now yeah he has given the short circuit and you see that large envelope in the beginning okay, which decays you will also see a DC offset it is not very clear here. So, I will show you uh, the actual figures. So, if you this is what we actually captured okay. we switched gave a short then remove the short by opening the MCB again and gave another short. So, we, we actually did it twice. Okay. Uh, one of the things you will notice in the waveform this is expanded okay. the expanded uh, part of this waveform is shown below. You will see that there is a DC offset as well as the envelope sinusoidal envelope is quite large in the beginning okay. uh, the DC offset and a large envelope. Okay. Uh, the DC offset in all the three phases are not the same. Okay. It depends on the instant at which you apply the short circuit. This is something you can think over why it is so. In fact, you will notice that uh, when you apply the short circuit the first time and the second time the waveforms look a bit different. That is because the DC component uh, when we applied the short circuit here is different from the DC offset component which decays. Uh, out here that really depends on the instant of so short circuit what point on the sinusoidal waveform the input voltage did you apply the short circuit it is different uh, for uh, when we did the short circuit at this instant and at this instant. So, you actually see 
different DC offsets in the different phases. Okay. But one thing is clear of course, that there is a DC offset which you see very clearly here, there is a DC offset and also the overall envelope uh, of this waveform decays with time. So, both the uh, overall envelope as well as uh, the there is a DC uh, component which decays with time. Okay. So, this is a uh, as uh, as shown in the simulation results and as discussed in the theory. So, in some sense it validates our theory. The only of course, difference in the simulated result and this is that this is a relatively smaller machine. So, its parameters are not uh, actually uh, the, the similar to the parameters of a very large machine, but nonetheless you see these uh, signatures uh, in the current waveforms. Okay. Now, uh, there is another uh, figure I would like you to see is that of the field current under these conditions. Okay. So, when I gave you a short circuit, if there is a short circuit applied at uh, the three phase uh, stator terminals, uh, your field current is also affected and what you notice here, this is something I did not show in the live uh, uh, experimental demonstration, but we captured this waveform by performing the experiment again. This is the field current which you see uh, initially there is some current value in the field, field winding. As soon as you apply the short circuit, there is a oscillatory response. Okay. Normally, of course, the DC, uh, the field current is a DC current, but you see an oscillatory response which dies out with time as well as an exponential decay. Okay. So, eventually of course, the field current goes to its original value that does not change because the field voltage being applied is constant. We do not have any AVR or anything of that kind. Okay. It is a constant field voltage applied by a self excited DC generator. So, you see this 50 hertz oscillatory component in I f. Okay. Remember that the d q currents, the field current, the d q fluxes and the field fluxes as well as the torque see an oscillatory decaying component which is near about 50 hertz, okay, which has got a frequency near about 50 hertz. This manifests as a DC or decaying DC offset in the phase currents. Okay. So, this is something which you should keep in mind. So, in the field current you do see this 50 hertz oscillation, okay, decaying 50 hertz oscillation as well as an overall decay. Okay. So, this envelope here decays as well as there is a this, this uh, you know you can say the there is also one more uh, you know mode which is very clearly seen which is decaying this way. Okay. So, this is uh, basically a summary of uh, the experimental results obtained for a short circuited generator.